Hi everyone. We have slipped through the cordon of destroyers and ahead of us are the lights of Liverpool Town. And in there is the USS Texas, apparently. I can't see any ships at all. Ah, no. Possibly something there. Difficult to see from here. Squinting my eyes in this low light. Anyway, welcome, welcome back to Silent Hunter 5, and here we are, the crew of U77 on our weekly patrol log. Right, so we are nearing Liverpool. I can't believe... Is that the US? Now it's a warship. There's a warship there, and there's a merchant ship there, so it might be there. Crikey, but USS Texas is still here, apparently. So, periscope depth. Let's get under. You can see they've got... Uh, they've probably got, I wouldn't be surprised if they've got some coastal guns around here, but I can't see anything as yet. Um, I say we were able to get surface the boats. So oxygen uh, is being replenished, CO2 is minimum or is min minimal, and uh, battery has been fully charged. Plus, we've been able to re bring in the external reserve, which is good. Right, so depth under keel. Hold on a second. Depth under keel is 33 eight, meters, meters, and we are well on the okay, so we can go periscope depth and not a lot else, to be fair. Um, which is which is is what it is. Uh, so we're coming into depth the. Uh, oh, that that's not the Texas, motor. is it? That's far too small. If that's a merchant ship, the Texas is going to be a little bit bigger than that. So um, we're going to come in here. Uh, and let's, uh, we'll, we'll stop here and we'll, actually we'll come forward, further forward a little bit more. And then we'll take uh, stock of what ships are where within the dock and uh, how we want to set up our attack runs. The good news is, you remember that they gave us six electric torpedoes? It doesn't really matter in a, in a, in a dock. There's uh, very little chance of missing and uh, any duds, well, we can always have another go. Um, escape routes are limited. We go out here north or we go uh, west along we, we hug this coastline again and down here there is a destroyer doing like uh, kind of like little search patrol um, shapes like that and I should imagine there's more up there. Uh, we could maybe come into this bay and hide there for a bit but um, yeah. Anyway Let's press on and see what we can spot in a little while. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, we're in position. Just coming to a stop now, let's get on the old Periscope then, and uh, we'll have a look. Where's? Let's just look straight ahead first of all. There we go. There they are. Let's keep the periscope down just in case there's anyone spotting. Um, we did have a call for a destroyer coming in, bearing two three eight. Behind that red boy, but um, can't see it. Oh, channel marker. Right. So we've got the we've got the church there. Some dock cranes. I'm not sure what that is in the water. Is there a ship there? It looks like there's a ship there. Looks like a merchant ship though. I'm expecting a huge hulk of a warship to step out, stand out in front of me, but I don't see it. Oh, there's an American flag. It's hiding behind this key. And, okay. How does one get to it then? Is that it? I think that's it. That's it. That's got to be it. And there's that merchant ship. So, um, what we need to do is come here and then turn in there so we can have a shot at both the Texas, which I think that's the. It's got to be the Texas. That is a large warship. It's got to be that one. And the merchant ship there. We've also got. Uh, a destroyer here and a merchant ship by the looks of it. Um, oh, there's a coastal defence gun as well. Oh, we've got another merchant ship there, right. Uh, slow speed ahead. Yeah, 
here. I don't seem to be listening to my um, commands very quickly today, but let's, um, we don't have to go all the way out here. Let's just quickly do this. There we go. Uh, so we've got a destroyer. Uh, two merchant ships there. Another merchant ship down there. Uh, merchant, warship, and a merchant. It's got to be that one. It has to be that one. Right. Where's that American flag fluttering high in the breeze? There she is. There she is. It's hidden behind the quayside. You can see a bit of the superstructure and the flag. But uh, we'll get around the corner and see what she really looks like. So we're going to move into position. And I'll see you in a little while. Bring the periscope down. Okay, we're getting pinged, which can only mean we're in the right place. Which means what the, what's happened is this destroyer here. We, we've sailed into his um, his sonar detection system. Is that her? That's her. There she is. Look at those. Wow! Look at those guns. Let's, um, must, oh, I hate that, ping, 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 let's bring up our controls, let's get that flicked over for a second, right, weapons officer, target, it's a New York battleship, oh, deep breath, deep breath, right, so this is going to be a bit of a beast, oh, god, it's a seagull, <laughs> it's a seagull, <laughs> calm down, <laughs> I thought they'd shot something at us and I thought we were dead, oh, Right, so there's the there's the end of the boat there, uh, this, and we got the right. We're going to fire under the turrets. So we have tubes one to three are electric, and four is a search pattern. So one flood. We don't really have to worry about range or anything. Oh, actually, we didn't. We haven't set that up particularly well, have we? We are 500 meters from the um, the ship. She's doing. I don't want to. I'm just going to reset that because obviously I don't want it to um, calculate it. We don't. Re we can just point and fire, really. But I don't want to confuse the uh, the computer any. Um, so that's all grand. Angle about. We are. We about there. Okay. We don't really need to worry about that. Let's just point and fire. Uh, so, torpedo tube 1 is flooded. Um, let's go quite low, about there. Depth set to four meters. Fire. Let's get those flooded. And I'm going to get... Uh, it's probably going to take more than um, one torpedo to sink her, but let's just see how much one does. There she goes. She's going in. Now she probably's got some torpedo belts or something to try and protect her against torpedo attacks. It's not the best angle, is it? I may need to set up a little bit better than that. Okay, she's taking a hit. Alright, that's torpedo tube two. Okay, that's two really good hits there. Um, I may just target a third. And fire. I say the, these aren't going to go down quietly. It's going to take a bit to get rid of uh, this um, this battleship, but it's worth the torpedoes. Hell, I know this is not how we want to take out. Um, I say we, this is not how we want to take out uh, capital ships. What am I talking about? Yes, it's exact, exactly how we want to take out capital ships in relative safety. <laughs> right, 
rather than out in the open sea, you know. It's not as heroic, I know, but... There we go. Right, that's three good hits. Um, we might want to... Um, she have a shot of this one as well, as she's right there. Just get the range for this. She is 800 meters. Uh, we might as well get her identified so we can get the keel depth. It's a large steamer. War supplies. Excellent. That's exactly what we want then. Angler bow. What about there? Not that we need to do that really. But uh, range 800. Um. What have we got in torpedo tube four? It's a it's a search pattern one. Oh, so that should be okay. We'll run it reasonably low. Oop. Fire. Gives the the Texas chance to uh, sink. Hopefully. Uh, that's not the greatest of angles I've, I've, I've picked there, but fingers crossed that'd be okay. Okay, that is a good hit, and she has gone. She has gone straight away. Um, let's get electric one loaded in there. Nice. So, um, from the relative comfort of our armchair U-boat captaincy, um, we have sunk a large steamer of war supplies for 7,010 tons, which is our ninth ship sunk for um, 58,611 tons. Now, that's all merchant tonnage. And we're still hopeful that the Texas will um, start to sink. Any t oh, she's, she's listing. She's listing. Give her a man of time. She may succumb. If not, we'll fire another torpedo in to uh, encourage her to go down. Welcome back everyone, it's happened, it's finally happened, she's finally succumbed, the USS Texas, the New York battleship, sunk for 27,000 tons, there it is, our 10th ship, our first warship tonnage on this, on this, uh, on this mission, but, um, she's not going quietly, no, <laughs> I'm not sure what she's doing. But she's having uh, an interesting time of it. Um, yeah. Something weird. Uh, she rolled over and then the, obviously um, I think the funnels clipped the, the key side which then sent her up in a vertical stance. Uh, and she's been bobbing there for about two minutes now. Uh, and I'm a little bit worried that should we move. Um, who knows what could happen in a second. It could probably come and fall on us like a timbered tree. Uh, so yes, good news. She's sunk. Um, we are going to now, let's just move on. 
We've got the destroyer and a couple of ships here, which we're not going to get very good angles on. So, um, I'm thinking we we could potentially um, look to have a shot of this ship. And then we might try and get out of dodge. Uh, this one's respawned in, but I'm not going to have... We've already sunk that one, so I'm not going to just sit there and... Um, grind out some uh, sort of uh, tonnage that we don't actually need. That's kind of, that, they, I know that's cheating, and, and these ports were not really designed to be raided because they do just respawn, and then if you keep shooting them, you have all sorts of glitching and all sorts of problems where a ship gets destroyed on there. But the USS Texas, the battleship, is gone. She, I was, I was going to say sunk beneath the waves. She's rooted in Liverpool Dock, and that is uh, as a significant kill. So let's just set up position uh, for a firing solution on the uh, this ship over here. Uh, what have we got in the torpedo tube? One is ready. It's just popped ready. That one's that angle. So yeah, to, uh, a forward firing shot would be best. Boom, and then we can sail out of it. I think that's probably a good idea. Right. We're creeping forward now. We're going to move into position. I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi right, everyone, welcome back. There she is. Ship just ahead. Let's get her targeted and identified. It's uh, another large steamer uh, with war supplies. Which is grand. Um, how far are we, just so we know range-wise? We are... Can't read that. Let's try that again. Eight hundred meters, good, good. So that's all good. Angle bow. Well, we're not. We're kind of like coming at this kind of an angle, but it doesn't really matter. Um, tube one is loaded with a steam torpedo. Torpedo depth set to four meters. Okay, okay. Flood tube one. Tube one. The vessel. Ready to go. Uh, let's go for a shot there, please. Fire. Good. Closing tube one, and let's load that in there, please. We're almost out of torpedoes. Uh, a quick update. That's a big rock there, look. You better not go forward. Uh, the Texas. She's still burning. Like a beacon. Bobbing up and down. Shaking everyone off the deck. On <laughs> everything off the deck. Um... Right, torpedoes away. Hopefully that's uh, on target. It's looking good. So it should hit hit back here. And hopefully that should be enough to finish another merchant out. Torpedo is a dud, sir. Unless it's a dud. <sighs> Brilliant. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for the other torpedoes to load, we might as well come here and we have an autosave, why not? And then we'll come that way. That'll just give us a 90 degree angle to um, hit the thing. Maybe it's the angle we hit it, just glanced off and then hit the... Maybe, maybe. But torpedo tube 2 is almost loaded, so we're going to press forward for a little bit. Let that get loaded up and I'll see you in a few. Okay, here we've moved ourselves into a 90 degree angle, well almost 90 degree angle. Torpedo tube 2 has now been reloaded, so let's uh, lock on her again. Tracking new target. Um, yep, we're good. I didn't mean to do that. Right, torpedo tube 2, lock on, 90 degrees, torpedo pretty much. Set to two meters. What kind of torpedo is it? It's, uh, it's just a steam torpedo, so that's fine. Um... Rage be 450. Fire. Tube oh, yeah, flood. <laughs> Getting lazy. She's away.
Okay, good hit. And I think... She's gone. She is gone. No, she's still there. She's still there. For a second, I thought she'd gone. I saw the red stress flare come up. Uh, it was a good hit, but um, she's still just about in the fight. Alright, we'll get that loaded into Torpedo Tube 2. Uh, whoa, we're almost out of torpedoes already. Crikey, that was quick. Only a couple of weeks. Right. Um, it's midnight now. I could stay here forever, but we are going to try and get out of dodge. Uh, if we can get down here before light. Oh, I'm not going to go that way. That's just death. Death and destruction that way. So, um, come on. Let's plot our way out, and we're going to hug the, uh, the Welsh coast. Well, this is the Wirral, isn't it? Sailor, my, my sister lives around here somewhere. Half speed ahead. Returning to course. So we go and see it. Say hello to my Flooding sister. Course. I've got family over here as well. I've got family down here as well. Family everywhere over North Wales. Flooding course. Flooding course. And my dad's Flooding family's all the way course. down south. Right. Cool. Let's get out of Dodge. Hopefully that will um start to sink. Once we get out of range, uh we'll we'll surface the boat. Try and get some uh, quick running on the surface under the uh, the cover of the moon on the on the night. Yeah, I don't think there is a uh, moon per se. Is there? Is there? Is all? Uh, I can see stars. So, oh god! <laughs> Least said, the better. I think. Hopefully, that will soon sink. There's bits and bobs floating of debris and everything. Um. Good, right, yes, we're going to get our Dodge, or Liverpool as it's currently known, and uh, make our way, hopefully, back out to the open sea to uh, get away. We've done, we've we, we've achieved what we came to do, and uh, now we just need to get out alive, which may be easier said than done. So, we're going to press on, and I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. Yes, Whew, we've managed it. We're, we've just broken through and we've surfaced just outside of their visual range of the of the port there. Uh, I think we've caused maximum damage. Um, oh, that other ship did sink in the end. Nice. Um, 8,200 tons. A bulk cargo carrier. That's odd. I'm sure that was... I'm sure it was a large steamer we targeted. Anyway, a bulk cargo carrier sunk. We we hit. I thought they identified it as a. Um, that's confused me now. Because because I remember thinking, oh, it's the same one. It's the same same type of ship with the war supplies. But nope. Okay, fine. Um, a bulk cargo uh, ship it is, and uh, it's fine because that's actually heavier. Great. There's our battleship. There's that. Merchant ship, and there's the one we've just sunk. So that takes us to 11 ships sunk and two aircraft shot down. Warship tonnage 27,000. <laughs> Merchant tonnage 66,811. For a total tonnage of 93,811 tons. Good God. We are going to have such a party if we manage to get home. Again, we're going to um, skirt the coastline. This is where that destroyer was last time. So we're going to hug around Anglesey. Cut through the Menai Straits. Oh, you can't. <laughs> this very... you got the um, the bridges here by... Is it, is it is Imbard King de Brunel built the bridge here? Or was it Stevenson? Famous British engineer, anyway. Um, built um, the straight uh, a bridge over the Menai Straits, um, which is still there. You still drive over it today, because um, this is very turbulent water. This is this is very challenging to sail on. Um, this is where Admiral Lord Nelson, sort of Napoleonic period, uh, used to bring all his uh, senior officers to um, practice their sailing technique because it's a very challenging piece of water. Um, just a bit of trivia for you. Right, we're gonna then skirt down um, the Irish coast. Or down the um, Irish Sea 
past the Welsh coast. And hopefully we can get into open sea and away from these guys. Um, it's we still got ages until we can uh, go back to dock at home base. But we may be able to go for a resupply at Brest again. Oh, oh that was worth it. That was worth it. But we've got to get there. There's a lot of water. And there's a lot of um, trouble between us and there. Let's try and bring that in. We may not have enough time because we may need to go below the surface to get past any um, patrolling destroyers in this area. But for now... All is good, and we are going to continue on. So, I'll see you in a little while, hopefully, when things have calmed down. Well, I say calmed down. Not much has happened at the moment, but uh, when my heart rate has come down, and um, yeah, we are we are clear of any uh, patrolling escorts or patrolling um, security in the area. So, we'll press on. I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, we're diving again. We've got more incoming aircraft. Um, I'm a little bit worried that they're going to obviously oh, get out of the way, let the boys down. Uh, that they're going to radio in our position to the to the ships. Um, you can see, oh, they, these ones might not spot us actually. We may get lucky. Uh, we got engaged by a bomber uh, just over here. Took some fire from his uh, rear turret, but not too much in the way of damage which is all good just skirting around angle C now um, so we made a bit of progress but yeah we didn't get yeah you don't get very far in 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 the cover of darkness it's now quarter to seven in the morning the light is up and um, yeah we're gonna have to chance um, being on the surface running on the surface as uh, as as we can and see how that goes but I think for now we're okay. Let's just check. We're quite shallow here. New contact. Warship moving slow. Constant distance. Bearing six. Uh, warship. Yeah, they've radioed one in. Okay, so we're gonna have to keep it steady, keep it quiet, and hopefully um, we'll get round angle C and away from this destroyer. Right, we'll press on, and hopefully, um, nothing more to report. Because that will mean we've got away from him. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Well, we seem to have got away from that destroyer. Just dodge another two aircraft. And we're currently blatting our way across. You can see Angle C there. And we're, we're having to stay a little bit wider than usual because although I can't visually see it, there is a a coastal gun and defensive position somewhere. Watch out for the low-flying seagulls. Yeah, don't know, but these guys can spot it. Actually, I'm probably looking here. There it is there, near the uh, near the port. Uh, we, so we're going to skirt around their observation area. So it's literally over there. How on earth can you see that? You see, that there's the port. So the gun is there. Wow, they've got good eyesight. They've got real good eyesight. Which side was the gun on? Yeah, it was this side. The gun's there, apparently, or the defensive positions, which will be spotter, anti-aircraft, and... Yeah. Blimey. Good eyesight, boys. Good eyesight. Right, I'm just going to come down here, just in case we see uh, aircraft coming over. We can dive down without me flapping around, trying to get down the ladders as well, which slows everything down. Good. Just a quick progress update. Things are going grand. Um, it's, it's... What's the time? It is uh, 8.30 in the morning. Um, and so far, so good. We we're uh, charging the old batteries up. Are they charged up? 99%. Excellent. Uh, continuing to work on uh, the various things. Our hydrophone is pretty much knacked. I don't think we're going to get much 
in the way in the repair of that. This we've been repairing. Um, our front torpedo tubes we've been repairing for the last three weeks, and we're still only managed to get an extra percent. Um, any quick wins? What's this? This is the regulation tanks on port two. Let's get get those working away. Go on. Let's see if we can get those fixed quickly. Oh blimey! Right, all in a day's work it would seem. Uh, that external reserve we brought in, so we've got um, five forward firing torpedoes, three electric, one steam, and one ladder search pattern, and we've got two steam um, to fire from the stern tube. So, uh, one key, that one is the one I want to press. So, we're going to press on, hopefully, without any more drama. Oh, we'll skirt around this. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it there for today. We've got time has beaten us once again. Um, so is the mouse, it would seem it wouldn't work. So from our crew of U-77 doing grand, actually what we can do, send back um, a list of our uh, status. So uh, yeah, see what they say about sinking a battleship, eh? Haha, <laughs> surely they'll send the entire Kriegsmarine to come and escort us home. You'd have thought so. You'd have thought so, but probably not. <laughs> I don't believe believe that for one second. Right, report sent. Right, uh, but we'll leave it there. As I said, thanks so much. Hit that thumbs up, and uh, next week I think we're probably at a stage where, with only a few weeks to go, we'll um, I'll bring up a uh, a list of the two possibilities what we can do in our next campaign and bring up a poll so you can vote for it. So yeah, I think that's going to be next week, and then we'll go back and uh, dock up and uh, re repair the boat because I think we need a full repair very soon. But we can't do that until 9th of September. So, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.